Okay, after I installed Microsoft Flight Simulator, I couldn't actually find So I had to go into the C drive, program files, Microsoft Flight Simulator, and find that and put a little icon on my desktop here to find it. So let's go in for the first time and see what we got. Okay, so when this comes up, first thing we're going to do is get rid of the sound. Click that. Okay, and this is the home. This is the home screen here. We're, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to settings, and we need to um, <clears throat> change our settings here. We got sound controls. Okay, now one thing that's nice about uh, Flight Simulator X is that it, it, it recognizes that you've got a um, what joysticks you have. So we're going to work on our, and it actually uh, properly assigns the axis controls. So that's a good start. But, but as far as the button keys go, um, it doesn't do a very good job there. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, 2D cockpit view. Now this should be button number uh, one, the easiest to always get to. So you don't have to hit uh, F10. We're going to go to the joystick. So we're going to change assignment, change assignment. Press the key you want to assign to the 2D cockpit view, key or joystick button. So we're going to go ahead and press button one. Click OK. So now what we've done is for the 2D cockpit view, we've got button one. So whenever we hit button one, we're going to be in the 2D cockpit view. Now that's uh, very uh, handy to be able to accomplish this. And we're going to go down here. We're going to go down through. <clears throat> it actually takes button number two. Let's go down here and find that. OK, it takes button two which views the next category. So this is very, very handy, and we're going to keep this a great way to uh, go. Okay, so next what we're going to do is our, our uh, second button here is for next category. Now we're going to do our third button uh, next in current category. And you'll see where, why we're going to do this here but we want our buttons to be uh, set up so we can view. So we're going to go in here. We're going to change assignment. We're going to hit our top right button, button 3. Click OK. So now we've got button 3 is the, the uh, view and next category. OK, now we're going to go down to Virtual Cockpit, Change Assignment. We're going to hit our lower button here and assign that. Click OK. Our last button assignment is our hat switch. So we're looking, we see our view pan right here. So we want to change assignment. We're going to hit our hat switch. OK. So now we're going to go in back to our free flight. OK, so let's go and check our, our settings here with our buttons. The first thing, why don't we go ahead and change, choose an airport that's close to you. Choose that as a starting point. Uh, change the time to something that is where we can see out. Okay, we're going to change the aircraft to, even though we don't have a light sport up yet, we're going to go with a Cessna on a glass panel here to just get started and check our buttons. Okay, and we're going to go to... Okay. So so what we're going to do is we're going to check our buttons. We've got, this comes up with our virtual cockpit. We're going to hit button number one. 
and we can see how it changes to our normal uh, cockpit view. Back to our virtual cockpit, which is button number four. Now we're going to hit our button number two, which is our top left button, and that switches between all the different views. Aircraft view, virtual cockpit. Now, if now if we go with our top right button, this switches with all the different cockpit views. As we can see. So we're gonna now we're gonna go to our outside spot view. We're gonna switch between those different views. We've got our lock spot. We've got our flyby got our outside top view. Now we're going to switch to our next tower view. We've got our nearest tower and now it's just switching through the different towers. The tower view isn't really that practical. Now we're looking at the aircraft view. We're going to switch between those. Okay, so again we're using our top left button, button number two, to switch between all the, the main views, aircraft view, cockpit view, outside view, and then our secondary, once we get into our main view, our secondary top right hand button switches between all the different sub views. main buttons. Number one is our main view here and our number two is our virtual cockpit. Okay, now we can see in our virtual cockpit our hat switch does work. Go back to our main, we go on our hat switch, we look left, we look right, we look back, we go to our virtual cockpit, now we can actually pan around. down, up, so we've got our hat switch actually working right now. So there we go. We, so now we've got all our buttons properly assigned for Flight Simulator X. Ready to go.